Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today I want to work on these little signs here that I picked up at Dollar Tree a while ago. I'm trying to get caught up and get these things done. You know, you get a million ideas and just not enough time. But I found these at Dollar Tree, and I bought two of these. It says Happy Ever After. It has these wood beads on the top, and they come nicely sealed in plastic. And they also had these in the black. These I found down where they have like the picture frames and things. And this one just says BU if you want to use a black frame. And I thought this was great because um, I wanted white and sometimes it's hard to find. I usually end up having to paint these. So luckily I found two of them in white so I don't have to paint the frame. But if you prefer the black frame, um, these are really nice too. So I'm going to paint the beads on these and I figured I would do one for St. Patrick's Day and one for Easter and um, I thought these would be great for like on a tiered tray or just in among your other decorations that you might have. I just love these things with these wood beads. So we're going to take these all apart here and um, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So these are stapled on the back, the beads, so you're going to have to get like a pair of needle nose pliers or something to get the staple out. Um, they come out fairly easy. You kind of got to pry it up to get it started. Stick like a knife or something under it, but carefully. And um, just pull out your staple. And then of course you're going to need a staple gun. Or you could hot glue them back on if you don't have a staple gun. Um, and then you can just take all these little beads off. It has this little, you know, catch on the back here. So they just slide right off. And so we're going to take all of these off. Um, they come off really easy. I should have had something here to put them in. They're going to roll away on me. But you just want to take off all your beads. And let's go here. I'm going to paint these. The one for St. Patrick's Day I'm going to paint with these three colors here. This is just some apple barrel paint that I picked up at Walmart. Um, I have a Kelly Green, a Limeade, and then this Toasted Marshmallow I thought would be kind of a cute thing in between instead of just all green. And then on the Easter one I have some of these too. These are all, oh this is folk art, but it doesn't matter. Whatever paint you have, whatever you want to use. But I thought these would be pretty for the um, Easter one. And I have this pink parfait, summer porch, that's chalk paint. But I didn't have another nice yellow in the acrylic. Um, and then I have this uh, cabana stripe it's called. And I thought that would be really pretty for my Easter one. So we're going to paint these in those different colors, and let's see, what do we have? Two, whoop, come back here. <laughs> six, eight, so there's eight of these little beads on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yes, eight. So let's see, I'm going to want to figure out how many here. I want more of the green, and then maybe one of these in between. So, let's see. Probably just do two of those and three in the greens and maybe just two in that toasted marshmallow. So I think that'll be cute. So you can leave your other side attached so you don't have to worry about getting that back on. And now this back piece, it just flips up, you know, pretty much like most picture frames do. And then we can take this out. And now for this part, I picked up two of these pretty cards. I got one for Easter that just says Easter wishes on it with these pretty flowers. And then this one for St. Patrick's Day I thought was so adorable with all these little animals and things. So I'm going to cut that part off and try to get most of just all these little guys in here for my St. Patrick's Day one. I think that'll be really pretty. So I'm going to use this board here to kind of figure out where I want to cut it. Um, so I'm going to lose a tiny bit of that little bunny's ear, but I don't want that other piece to show. And then I'm just going to trace around this with a pen. There's my pen. And I want to get that piece off the top there. And you could cut that out too and put it on top of here if you wanted to for something. I just love this card. I thought it was so pretty. But we're just going to cut this out. Nothing special. Just with a pair of scissors. And... I mean, you could cut this out if he has one of those little Sizzix cutters or something, or Fisker's cutters. Um, just slide it down. i got to get a new blade for mine because it is just so dull. But we're just going to cut this one out here real quick with the scissors. And 
I love doing things with these cards. You can get some really pretty pictures, you know, for all kinds of seasons, holidays, whatever. And I just love this picture on here. Alright, so I'm just going to take some Mod Podge. You could use any kind of glue. And then we're going to glue that right on here. And that's going to be our picture for on our tiered tray. And I think that is going to be adorable. So I just have some gloss Mod Podge. It doesn't matter what kind you use. Gloss, matte gloss or matte. Or you could use like tacky glue. Whatever. But I thought this would just be a real quick way to glue this onto here. And you don't need a ton of this on here. Just to get the edges mainly glued down. Alright, and that's that. That's how easy that is. So I'm going to put this on here nice and even. Alright, so actually I'm just going to put this over here and flip it over and let it dry. i got to trim a little bit. I cut it a little bit too big. But <clears throat> I'm just going to lay this flat until that dries on there. Alright, so, whoops, I'm just going to set this back here, and set, actually I'll just set my paints on top of it for now, and then we're going to take out the other picture, I'll take these beads off of here in a minute, and this one I want to do for Easter. So here's my pretty Easter picture, and I'm hoping I can get, because this one's not quite as big, I may see a little bit of a white on here. But I do want to get the Easter wishes in this one. So this one's a little bit smaller, so we're just going to cut off part of this bottom, I think, here for this one. And just, and then that will be our pretty Easter picture in there. I couldn't find one. That um, St. Patrick's Day one was a really nice size card. But I couldn't find one with a nice image on it for the Easter in that size, so we're just going to work with this one. I'm just going to cut that out. There we go. And of course, you have all your little sentiments in the inside there that you can use. And then I think that'll be pretty in the little frame. Like I said, a little bit of the white's going to show on the edge of this one. Or you could put a different color paper back there if you wanted to. But. I think it's going to look just fine with just the white. Alright, let's get that in some water there. And then get this where I want it. And then that will be... Oops, not over enough. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to flip this one over here, and I'll set my little thing on top of that. So now for, our, for the beads here, um, this is really easy. I'm not even going to take all the paint out of here because I'm going to use so little of it. Um, I'm just going to take a little bit in the lids. And what I like to do to do these beads, it's easy, is I have these chopsticks. Um, actually, somebody sent these to me. You can actually just order these bamboo chopsticks if you wanted to, but these come in real handy when you want to paint the different size beads, the wooden ones. So I'm just going to put that on top of there. Let me grab this little brush here. And I don't know if I'm going to do one coat or two. I may need to do two with this. It's very light. So I'll probably end up doing two coats. But this is just so easy to paint these. Then they don't get stuck on anything. and You don't get paint all over your fingers. But yeah, this is definitely going to need two coats of this color. It's very pale. All depends on the paint. Alright, so we're going to do three of these, I believe, in this pretty blue. Whoops! That one slid right down. I'm not going to paint all these on, you know, this is going to take some time. So I'll just show you a couple here, and then I'll finish these up off camera. But that's going to be the blue ones. Um, let me grab a different color here real quick. It's pretty, pretty pink. I 
I just thought this would be great for Easter. I think some of these are actually, they are much bigger. These uh, chopsticks, but we're going to do these in pink. You can paint them up real quick like that. I just stick them in a little vase here, jar, whatever. And then <clears throat> the other ones I'm going to paint with that pretty yellow. Alright, so let me, I'll finish up those. We'll do the yellow ones after. So now on this one we're going to do the greens. I'm just going to paint these up all the same way. I have these three colors with the greens and this toasted marshmallow. So I'll go ahead and I will paint up the rest of those and then we'll come back and start putting these back together. Alright, all my little beads are dry now, so we're going to put these back on here. Um, they dried really quick too. It's a nice day today. So things are working out well. So, I'm just going to start stringing these back on real quick. Just so simple, so easy. My favorite kind of DIYs. And then you're just going to have to glue that back on back there. Or, you know, if you have a staple gun, which I do have one here, that I'm going to just staple this right back on the back of this thing. If I can get a hold of it. There we go. There we go. And there it is, back on. And those are just so pretty. I love the colors. And I already put the green ones back on. I just strung them the same way and just stapled it back on there. So now all we're going to do is get our pictures back in here. Uh, let's see, here's my Easter one. Ooh, there's a noisy garbage truck. There we go. And there's our pretty Easter one. I think these will look pretty. Like I said, on a shelf, on a tear tray, I think these will be lovely. And now we're going to take, whoops, I still have them. On, or uh, paint on top of that one. Our St. Patrick's Day one in here. Let's push our little things back down. And there you go. Just that simple. I love that picture. I just absolutely love it. And then if you wanted to, I cut out this piece that was on the top of the card. You could actually add that down on here, which I might do on this one. I thought maybe it would take up. I want it on the top, but it's not going to look good up there. But look how cute that'll look right here. So I think I'm going to do that. If I can get this nice and even here. Just put a little bit of... Whoops, sorry, I moved everybody. My hot glue gun is stuck to a bunny. There we go. I'll make sure you guys are where you're supposed to be. Yes, you are. Alright, so this one, I'm going to put this back down on here because I think that's going to look really cute on the front. Just a little bit of hot glue. It looks pretty even. to hold that on there. And there you go. I think that looks lovely. Alright, so that is perfect. Put my little beads back up here. How cute will that look on a cheer tray or just up on a shelf with your other decorations? So that is it. That is all I'm doing to these. I want to get these little projects done because, you know, these holidays are coming up. They'll be here and gone before you know it. But here is our St. Patrick's Day. And then here is our Easter wishes. And you could add something else on here if you wanted to paint some things on your frame or whatever, but I'm going to leave these just the way they are, just to sit up, you know, and look pretty and with my other decorations. So I don't want to add too much more to them. But thanks so much for watching, everybody. I just wanted to share my little project with you guys today, and I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everyone.